Are you... Uh, what's your way to deal with dreams usually? Tell me a bit about your style and your culture uh, dealing with your dreams that I know where we start. Um, I try to remember them in the morning. Usually? Yes. Okay. And um, very often I do if they have... Um, they're important. And especially certain types of dreams I do remember. Mm -hmm. um, and I try to investigate them afterwards to see what they, what the meaning is and what they tell me about my, my, um, my soul, my, my, my spiritual path or how I, I feel about things. So yeah, one of the preferred views on your dreams is finding spiritual paths. Yeah, yes, and to, to understand what, where am I, um, and very often uh, from the, the dreams I, I gather that I have a, uh, actually solved a problem or it's, it's on its way to, to be clarified or, or mm. I feel pretty calm about that. Okay, so, so you use your dialogue with your dreams uh, to get calm, to, to find mm -hmm. solutions, mm -hmm. and uh, somehow find your right way. Yes, confirmation that confirmation, <laughs> confirmation about some decisions or, or okay. Or that. Okay, and you do this in years or yes. all your life? Or? Uh, yes. So I'm talking to somebody who's who has a tradition in dealing with her own dreams. Okay, and uh, up to now I only heard that uh, you work with your dreams. Do you also dialogue with people on dreams? No. Um, I don't ask people if they have uh, dreams or something, but I, I do listen when people talk about their dreams. And I sometimes share my dreams with, with uh, some some people who are important to me or who uh, are, have been part of the decisions or or, or, or issues. Mm -hmm. um, I keep them for myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I write them down so that I will not forget them because their meaning is so so important. Okay. And it sounds as if uh, dreams are something precious for you. Yes, very. Uh, and when you tell, uh, have dialogues on dreams with people, they usually react in a way that uh, you feel good. Yes. Okay. What do? Uh, can you tell what they do to? Um, yeah, what they do good, that you feel good with telling dreams? Because I feel that I'm hurt uh, when I talk about, about my dreams. I, I feel that I'm listened to and, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm supported in the way I, I make my interpretation of them. Okay. Yeah. So you it sounds <coughs> as if something important in your tradition in Dealing with dreams is being supported and confirmed. Yes. Okay. In case in our dialogue, I would have the idea some things I should not support or uh, question. Would that be okay for you? Yes, no problem. Okay. <laughs> uh, how can uh, in, in case uh, you? It's a tendency that you could feel hurt on because of that. Would you tell me? Yes, sir. In time? Yes. Not told him yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, just tell your dream from this night. Um, should I tell something else about, in general, my dreams, or just the dream? Because it has, it's a, it's a link. It's, it's one piece of, of other. Of first dream. Okay, the first dream. Um, I was um, going in a very, very big um, house mm -hmm. uh, with uh, um, not much furniture. Uh, there was a big 
staircase and uh, walking up I knew that this house was mine mm -hmm. and I looked around um, it seems like seemed like all the windows and the doors everything were in their right places mm -hmm. um, so I didn't look outside from the window so I didn't know what was actually the location of the house mm -hmm. and I, I didn't care it didn't matter for me mm -hmm. and um, um, I was in the middle of, um, of a big room and uh, my husband was somewhere behind me and I was looking at the room and, and told him that um, I'm ready to rent out part of the the, the house uh, which is a rather independent part uh, and I said there are um, there is a bedroom and, and a living room and the kitchen and there is a separate entrance so it's it's okay to rent the room to somebody, the, 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 to somebody rent a part yeah. of the, the house and um, and uh, um, he didn't say anything but but I knew that he would agree with that mm -hmm. and um, then I was um, suddenly um, with other people uh, some Portuguese people mm -hmm. right and um, I, I knew that I was with them um, because they wanted to get something and that's the moment when I, I woke up and uh, did the, the stage of your dream change when you said, and then I have been with Portuguese people? Or was yes, it at yes, the same point, at the no, same it place? Different. It, it, it was a different mo stage. Uh -huh. So it was, I... I How I, was I, that? So, um, I was surprised, mm -hmm. suddenly. Uh, no, not how, how your reaction yeah, was, but, but uh, how would you describe this uh, the other stage? I, I think that the second part was very much linked to discussions yesterday and things that I've been watching no, uh, uh, I'm just thinking okay. in terms of theatre. Oh, in terms uh, of theatre? So, uh, up to now, I could somehow imagine how we could put that in the theatre with okay, the dream. Okay, and, now that, yeah. and then, I, I've been with Portuguese people and I do not know how to set up the stage yeah. for that. It, it, was a, it was not the same room. Yeah. It was a different room. Uh, yes. And, and I don't think it was in my house anymore. But it's undefined. Undefined. It's it was a, it's a house. It's it's a place, a big place. Inside a house. Yes, outside, inside, inside, or a, inside not a house. Clear? Inside a house, but I didn't feel it was the same house or my house. Okay, so at the point when you decide to rent out part of your house with a separate entrance and felt that your husband would agree to that, mm -hmm. the scenery changed. Yes. Yeah, you, you have uh, very clear descriptions about your dream. Not everybody has, so we had a, have a lot of work that I can get some imaginations that what they might have dreamt, but mm -hmm. that's very clear how you tell it. So we don't, I, I do not invite you directly into the dream, but more how you deal with your dream. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Okay. So you woke up, what was your mood when you woke up? I felt um, felt good, and I um, it was a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. um, nice means nice means that there was no anxiety, mm -hmm. um, uh, no resistance to wake up. <laughs> you love when you say this. You, yes, because you, you usually have. Yes, because I would like to continue my, my, my dreams or continue sleeping. Uh, yes. But I didn't, I didn't feel that. You are a fan of being in a cocon. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I felt good and uh, um, didn't fall asleep after that. You did? I didn't, I know you, I didn't. You stayed awake? Uh, yes, I stayed awake. Okay. And, uh, but I deliberately was slow in everything not to forget the, the dream because okay. I felt it was very good. Okay, so that's a, something precious you want to keep yes. in conscious mind yes. as well. Yes. Wonderful. So, you said 
series story before to that dream. I'm not sure whether we need that. I, I start at a different point. Okay. Uh, did you, uh, you, you said you usually uh, think about the dream and try to find an understanding mm. of the dream. Did you do that with that dream as well? So what is your understanding so far? Uh, my understanding is that I've probably reached a point where I can rent out a part of the house. Okay, so this this the question of renting out yes. was your focus when you saw the passage. Yes. Oh, that sounds good. So I'm I'm <laughs> ready to to not to sell it, but to rent it out. So it's still mine. Yeah, that's okay. That's the first Somebody step. Somebody can occupy it, yes. Oh wonderful. And how does this have meaning to you in your life? It has a meaning um, uh, that I don't have to keep things for myself. I can can do a lot more sharing mm -hmm. um, that yeah. I have been doing. Before. Okay, so this would be a, a further development in your style, yeah. being in, in 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 the world and yes. with people and what. Yes, precisely. Okay. Is this quite a new tendency, or is it a longer way? I think it's it's. I've been on the way quite a long time, mm -hmm. but the last step has not been very easy. But I, f I feel that it's it's there. Uh, okay. Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah. And the last, did you uh, put attention on this last pine, a part of, uh, of the dream after you made this decision, yeah. got supported, and it, the scenery changed. How did you, do you understand this last part? That it it confirmed my my conscious decision mm -hmm. and uh, um, was a confirmation that I'm on the right path. That you want? I'm on, on the right path. I'm on the right okay. way. Uh, how do you in the, how do you understand this last scenery in your dream? What is it about? It's it's not that I'm doing things just for myself or keeping them for myself mm -hmm. i can can share and i i i <coughs> probably should do that mm -hmm. instead of just accumulating uh, mm -hmm. yes this is already a conclusion from yeah, the yeah. from the part before uh, why are there portuguese Portuguese yeah. people. What, well, I think do that you know these people? Do they have yes, any, any significance in your life? Or well, my it? husband is Portuguese, and those oh. people who were there were his colleagues from work, whom I hardly ever see. Uh -huh. which is, is strange. But there was during the day uh, yesterday was discussion about about Portugal, about Portuguese people, and mm -hmm. I think that that was a thing that came into my dream oh, directly okay. from that that uh, okay. discussion. And uh, what what kind of symbols are Portuguese people to you? Um, very nice, because that that's to, towards my future. Uh, <laughs> in the later part of... Yeah. I will go to and live in Portugal. Yeah. And, and what kind of quality will that bring in your, in your life? Uh, completely different lifestyle. Uh, quality. Of, yeah. of what, what, a kind, of, what kind of? Give a name it yeah, to Yes, it. Um, more contact with people. More contact, yeah. Um, more, more sharing, more contact, and uh, an a challenge. Mm -hmm. When I listen to your language, maybe that, uh, that's a language problem, but it, uh, it comes up to me. You have not many dif uh, differentiated qualifying world, words for, for your new style. You say, it's, mm. I felt good, it was a challenge, more meta words. Mm. And uh, it's difficult understanding what the quality of it is, listening to you. Is that a, do you feel like that yourself? Or maybe no. it's a translation problem right now? Yeah. Um, probably I'm limited in, in, in expression. Mm -hmm. um, Due to the fact that I'm not 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 a native English speaker, and I use English in a very clear, strict work context. Only. And if we if we would talk in your uh, native language, it would be different. It would be much more rich. 
much more rich. Yes, so guess. maybe it's a language problem. Yeah. But we can put some attention on it. Watch yourself whether you really use. I I understood from listening to you that you are very careful in dialoguing with your dreams, but that might be a lot of internally internal yeah. dialogue, and and that you do not much talk with people on these qualities, and it might be good uh, really to find a, a specific language to to really express what you experience, so that mm -hmm. you also get in a mirroring dialogue with mm -hmm. others, and that your language uh, will not stay on a more superficial level, that mm -hmm. does not meet what you really yeah. experience. Yeah, that would be probably good, but I can't do it. No, it's so not that, a question of uh, uh, being able to do it no, or not, but the, just to be... There is no opportunity. I don't speak Finnish with anyone in Ah, okay, in this might also have to do with your leaving behind your your native language. Mm. Okay, so this might be another issue being mm. entangled with that yeah. dialoguing on qualities in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so far I could stay in your tradition in supporting your own uh, understanding of the mm -hmm. dream. It's plausible to me. Um, could you talk to your husband about dreams? Oh yes, well, that's, he's the one through my... I tell most of my dreams when, I, okay, when they are very okay. important for me. Okay, so, and, and the culture he's bringing in, Portuguese, whatever it means, is, is something you are more and more uh, opening up to. Yes. Okay. <coughs> um, you said it, this dream is in a row in a series. Would you like to tell one? One element or one or two elements of the series, but we will not make take much of it. But just to understand how it is could be a series and what how this is a, a piece of chain in a longer chain. Um, I dream very often about houses mm -hmm. with a lot of uh, different rooms in there, mm -hmm. and um, I, it's they're always old houses with mm -hmm. old furniture. Uh, which has been left there by by the previous owners, mm -hmm. and I try to look at that old furniture, all things that they've left behind. Mm -hmm. Is there something I can repair and use in decorating the the house? Okay. And um, there is um, very often a, a, a chain of of different rooms, and um, I got the impression that it's huge, and I never get to the, the very end so that I have a clear picture of how many rooms, yeah. what, what the size is. And uh, that's something that comes along quite quite often. Um, I feel comfortable in, in those houses. And uh, I imagine each room to be decorated in a certain way and for a certain purpose. Mm -hmm. um, so you have then, a... Uh, culture of cocooning yeah and, and and the later dreams it was more not your own rooms but left over you make somehow makes them your own but and there are many okay. uh, how could we state that uh, is that dream of that night somehow a step beyond yes it's how is it a step beyond um, that um, well, this is an interpretation. Certainly. Yeah, uh, that it's it's really not not. Uh, I don't have own to own all these rooms. I don't have to keep them for myself. Yeah. And and uh, I'm ready to rent part of the house. Okay. To to rent it. Yeah. yeah this makes sense to me. To as one way to open up. Mm. Um, and just uh, I, I I listened. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, I am 
was touched by the point where you said uh, the context of the house. I don't know what it is, and I'm even not interested in. Mm. I usually look from inside and not from outside mm. in. Is that a, uh, did I understand that right? Yes. Okay. And is this a description of how you approach reality also in other contexts? Um, it has been very important for me to know where I am, mm -hmm. uh, how I am, what is the location, what is the place, yeah. and so on. Um, it has been very important for me. Mm -hmm. And for a reason, I didn't find out or didn't even look for the placement of that. Okay. So some, uh, somehow um, understanding where my building is, in what context, uh, and owning it from inside and opening it up now probably, these are two sides that are not yet balanced uh, and mm. going together very easily. Mm. Would you agree to this description? Yes, I think so. Yeah, that, that sounds, mm -hmm. sounds like correct. So this could be one focus for, for future development, mm. uh, how to balance this. So mm. opening up by renting is maybe one way, opening up by dialoguing on how do you see where I am, what my house is, with, because a house is, from a systemic point of view, uh, not just something um, single, it's something in a context, mm -hmm. and a house in a meadow is a different house than a house in the midst of a city, so it's important to, to go from inside out and outside in many different ways. There's nothing that should happen on the spot. But do you think this could be a, 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 a useful focus for the future? Um, I think there is a, uh, an element that um, I felt comfortable without knowing where, it wa where I was. Because mm. I, I do remember the other dreams when I, I was very conscious about the fact that there were streets outside, that it was in a, in a, in a city, mm -hmm. and, 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 and uh, I even looked at, at through some windows mm -hmm. to, find, to make sure where, where it was. was. And um, at this time I wasn't curious, but I didn't, um, it didn't bother me. Okay. So, now I would like to uh, take the helicopter. Outside, and just do some playful comparison between worlds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, checking out whether context connections make sense or not. And it's an experimental way. And I introduce worlds to compare with to you. You dreamt it this night. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Why this night? Why not yesterday? Why not l last week? Is there any connection to yes, what? Yes, the, to the real. There's a very straight connection to the reality, yes. to the to the the uh, the things that uh, I've been hearing from you in mm. the past two days, mm -hmm. and to the discussion and solution I had with uh, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. I, I think it it because uh, the discussion I had with her uh, was very very important for me mm -hmm. and uh, real step forward mm -hmm. in, in some way mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this dream I could not have before because uh, I was not ready to, to rent any part of my house oh, I wanted okay. to keep them for myself okay so this dream is also confirming a work we have you have yes. done with Rosemary yes and this was yesterday yes okay so there's one context and one stage we can connect it, uh, it in a meaningful way. Uh, most often uh, we can connect it to many stages in a meaningful way and we play around a bit with that. Okay, 
Yes. Okay. You said it might also uh, have connections, meaningful connections to what we do here in the room. Yes. If that would were true, what are the connections? The connections of of um, um, of feeling comfortable in 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 listening and hearing things mm -hmm. and and uh, learning learning in a different way i um, what is different different is that that um i usually take a lot of notes i write a lot when, mm -hmm. when i am following any any training mm -hmm. and knowing that we will get the we recording take, yeah um, allowed me to and allows me to to really use my listening skills mm -hmm. and and looking at at you and 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 uh, the people who are here uh, when they talk instead of writing down the the, the, the oh. things that I I hear could, could it be translated with opening up yes because yes. your needs to to make sure are fulfilled yes you will get yes, I will get the deep body for sure okay so, so I feel freer to to uh, learn uh, through different channels mm -hmm. when I'm not writing mm -hmm. and I, I feel that very comfortable Mm -hmm. I don't dare to do that, usually because I'm afraid of forgetting things. Yeah, so we have another question of balance, of making sure that you keep your things yes. and opening up mm -hmm. for new things. Yes. Okay. Um, from the dream there is one context coming in, that's uh, your husband's uh, home, country, Portuguese, Portugal and Portuguese and, and uh, as I understood uh, your plan or consider at least to go to Portugal? Yes, we will be going there. Yeah, if the dream from tonight has to do with this world and stages on these worlds, what would, could be the connections with these worlds? The connection would be also linked to the discussion that I had with with uh, Rosemary doing the supervision. Okay, so, so, uh, so things, it's, it's everything. Stages is, it's, in the stages, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And just gi give me some um, qualifying, uh, not judging, qualifying, qualifying. Dis descriptions. I again have the problems that you use yeah. words that do not tell me specifically yeah. what your experience is. Yeah. Um, a very exciting uh, um, element of Portugal knowing that there will be some things that I will discover uh -huh. and, and uh, um, a, a challenge to do something that I haven't done before yeah. or I've done in a, in a different context. You, you often use words that uh, signify intensity, but I do not hear many words that signify quality, how it is specifically. I, I just mm. mentioned it mm -hmm. because it, I'm not sure yeah. whether it's a product of our situation or it's a part of I your think style. It's, it's part of me, I think. Not of your, of your, well, but I mean, of your it's style. It's my, of my style. I mean, <laughs> Styles can yeah, be changed yeah. if necessary or if, if needed. Um, I don't think I use very much words of, mm. of which describe of, of quality. Mm. I even tend to, to skip them when I books because I'm a writer and I, my experience is when I found the right qualifying way that's the way to keep it forever also but I don't have to deal with it anymore mm -hmm. because I found the word maybe this could be something for you to to satisfy your need keeping things mm -hmm. naming them better yes know how to do it. It's just practicing. Mm. Um, at this point, if this is a, a, a valid point of view, it's important to know that this might be a way to make sure that yours are yours mm. by naming them exactly. And then mm. and if you want to have a mirroring from others, mm. uh, the mirroring is much more worthful if they Exactly tune into a, into your right word, and not only just not just listening. Mm. 
So it's, do you understand that? Yes, yes, I, I think I do. You think this could be a, a valid point for you? Yes, I, I, I guess it would help me to get closer to other people. Yeah, and to, and to yours at the same time. It's not either or. I'm just puzzled, not knowing how to, how to lay all things in a different different way. Probably I, I don't know how to do it. No, it's enough sure. if you just think, okay, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. so when I hear myself saying challenge, exciting, and all these things, let me add how it is exactly, how I feel it, how I would describe it. Okay. And maybe it's not, you will not hit the point uh, in the first trials, but mm -hmm. after time you will find exact words. So your language will be, you are exactly fitting house. Okay. And maybe this has to do with Finnish, you told me that yeah. there was, maybe there's a history that mm -hmm. uh, um, irritated you somehow in the track of finding your language. Yeah, and I've learned languages are, it's it's in the cognitive part so much that it's it's not a, um, I can't find the same words, the exact words in, in which which I would use in Finnish. Mm -hmm. I think also that my style is is to be very straightforward, mm -hmm. without without a lot of uh, description. Straightforward? I don't know whether this is the right description. Straightforward. Straight forward doesn't help if it is not describing what's really mm. yours. Mm. And it's brave, but it's not satisfying. Mm. Okay. That's just a, a hint. You you check whether this is uh, really is plausible to you. Okay. Maybe it's a, an artificial product of our language problems mm. here in the situation. I don't know. Mm. Uh, let me just uh, try another context comparing thing. <clears throat> um, if the stream from tonight has anything to do with your professional life? A lot. Uh, which stages come to your mind? With which place? How could be the relationships? Um, um, a place, a role as, as a more active role in, in, in the scenes at, at, at work. A uh, role of, uh, of, of a provider, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, role of uh, someone who is bringing something, something new. A uh, role of of um, a stronger role um, um, in 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 bringing bringing the TA to mm. my workplace. Mm. And uh, the story of this dream, and you're making meaning of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're describing your development professionally. How, 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 where are there parallels? Yes, there is a strong. How? How? Not strong. No, it, it, again, it, it, we yeah. have yet okay, the, the intensive words, yeah. but not, I yeah. do not understand. I've been accumulating a lot for myself, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, now it's time to 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 um, to use that and uh, help other people to understand that there are ways to solve problems mm -hmm. that then they can use their own resources for that. Okay. And and maybe it's not only a question of attitude of keeping or giving, but it's also a question of competence seeing it exactly how you mean it. Yeah. Yes, actually I I have a clear a clear strategy how to go go ahead with that with this and mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable mm -hmm. and support it. Wonderful. It. That's what would have yeah. been my next question. Yes, <laughs> I, I feel supported to okay. do, the, do that, and I feel uh, comfortable in in the trust. Okay. <coughs> Good. I could start at this point. How is it with you? I feel fine. Yes. Good. Well, thank, you thank you for sharing. So this, for me, that, this was a good opportunity to show many of the levels and figures of my style of working with dreams. And I, I guess you, 
uh, there have been some surprises in that for you. How I stated it, from where I come and how I changed focus. How was it for you? I'm very impressed by your uh, deep listening skills. My? How, Speak your, loud, please. <laughs> by your uh, very deep listening yeah. skills. Mm -hmm. You pick up words and you check meanings and you try to find out what can be understanding beneath mm -hmm. the, the words. So it is a uh, very careful work mm -hmm. uh, for me. Uh, and uh, it is as well not only deep listening, but also giving respect mm -hmm. to the person mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you you perceive her, you listen, and you try to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it is uh, uh, for me. It is uh, work based on meanings mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, what uh, you were doing with uh, her, with her words, mm -hmm. meanings, it was very impressive. Mm. Thank you. Do you, do, uh, do you have the feeling you could follow? Was it plausible the way we went, or, or was it obscure? Or no? So I hope you recover some some time from being deeply impressed and talk to me. <laughs> 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 can, can I ask around so when you talked about different types of word and quality yes I didn't quite understand those strong words what did you mean by quality words an example maybe yeah she, she says, I want to get close to people okay. so the next question was close in what dimension mm -hmm. meeting them in with what or I feel good. How exactly do you feel? You feel inspired, you feel warm, you feel accepted. Mm -hmm. So uh, her language, at least this part I, uh, I could experience here, um, is not direct. I mean, she, she seems to be satisfied with uh, labeling experiences uh, that get do not give me an idea what their, her experiences are. And at okay. the same time, she wants to be heard in the way she is. But yeah. she, doesn't, she, she doesn't use language to make other people understand. Mm -hmm. So she, her model of how can I be understood in encounter might be limited by mm -hmm. the way she is using language. Okay. And, and then she might be mistake the challenge of being more understood, for example, by fantasizing she has to, to be open or uh, getting closer or whatever. And it mm -hmm. might not be the question of getting closer, but the distance might be okay. But the intimacy comes by exactly sharing. And then it's, it's a different kind of qual uh, challenge. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether it, it, this came through. Uh, what I wanted to show also is that I do not work in the dream. Mm. Yeah. Or not, or not, yeah. not uh, habitually. 
that I use the dream as a, a play on a stage, and then what can we learn from that? How can we study this uh, play as a way of creating reality? And we have levels around that. How does she relate to the rem memory of the dream? And people change dreams through memories, by telling. Mm -hmm. So these are interpretation levels that change reality uh, while dealing with reality. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, from coming from separate viewpoints, I study her way to create reality on different topics, for example, on opening up or keeping mine and things like that. And I got a, a quite... Uh, I felt after this conversation that I understood a lot of her style creating reality and what uh, limitations could be and how to overcome them. But we wouldn't, if I have, would have only reacted to it, uh, maybe I would have not understood so much or if I only would have gone with her feelings or the symbol, what is the symbol of house mean and big house. And she's, she's really, uh, she has a, a, a careful way to to deal with her dreams and uh, it also took her some time to decide to come here so it was oh, to come here is, uh, is on the process level a decision to open up and so i uh, it was important that she has a good experience with opening up and it but not only feeling good but learning of uh, during this example of opening up, learning a lot about her logic of creating reality on opening up. Your style feels to me the difference between sitting forward and examining something mm -hmm. and sitting back and looking at something. Mm -hmm. And it feels to me that you sit back Mm -hmm. rather than sit forward and mm -hmm. look at things. Yeah, that's a way to symbolize it, yes. So, I made use of my problems being near. <laughs> <laughs> the therapist always wanted to, to cure this uh, basic pathology of not being able to be near because of mother-child relationship and I've been to the hospital. <laughs> I'm that way, I don't know why, but I made the best of it. <laughs> and this is competence of doing intimate work from some distance. Yeah. But you yeah. say context, even asking Lucy about the context of the house yes. and noticing the context, there's always something about sitting back and looking at yes. the context. Yes. So choosing the systemic perspective is, is a way to be creative with my pathology. <laughs> <laughs>